Alpha to Omega, come in. Over. Alpha to Omega, come in. Over. Here it is, CFP90. And this thing is loaded to the top. But uh, you'll guys see a little bit what I have loaded in here. Okay, we're gonna stay at the same spot we did last time, I think. And uh, it's pretty much already cleaned out, ready to go. It's pretty thick out there. So we'll go ahead and get camp started. And I'm gonna get this thing off because it's super hot. So it's an M65 with the fill liner in it. And it's hot because I have this on too. And I'll tell you why. I, didn't, I don't really need this, but I'll explain to you why I have that one on. I have this on because my camera stuff, I need to keep it in the pockets to keep it really warm because it's gonna get really cold tonight. And it's cold right now too. So I think it's only 22 out right now. But, uh, that doesn't have any inside pockets because of the liners are in the way. So I'll probably just be wearing this for now because I'm burning up. Sleep system, I have my 1980s insulated, big rubber mat, like four inches thick. And then I got this for to keep it from getting holes poked in it and in case it doesn't stay aired up. So we're gonna find out tonight. This is the first night that I'm using this insulated mat. Yoke is holding up really good as well. You see here, I got quite a bit more weight in this pack. And you'll see what I have here inside it here in a minute. Hope my camera doesn't go dead. It likes to go dead really fast. There's some work gloves. Got my knife. Silky Ultra XL. Excellent saw. We got our food tonight. And I actually brought some uh, yeast or some flour. So we're going to try and make some bread. I got a big old thing of water here. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. Yeah, I have a lake over there so I can always get more water. But it's just more work I got to do. So I carry that in. Got my pillow. And got the urinal. Can't forget that. Got a shemag right there. And I've got a Another canteen, which is the Arctic Canteen. Arctic Canteen cup. Okay, here on the bottom, real fast, get them zipped. We have the, we have the sleep system. And I got it in, it's bivy sack in there as well. 
and I got my drop cloth there. My side pockets here, I've got for our dinner tonight, Chipotle chicken corn chowder, and I got some, got another can in there as well, but we're gonna make bread with it as well, I think. If I can do it, we'll see. So here it is in the Isratec sleep system. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same, same bag as the uh, Isratec sleeping bag because it fits perfectly in this bivy sack. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna be plenty warm in this just because of how much it lofts up. If you saw my unboxing video, which I'll put a link in the screen, this thing lofted up in a matter of like, I'd say minutes. And I don't know how long it's been vacuum sealed, but for a long time, so, yep, there's our sleep system for the night. I am gonna wait to inflate this. I'll inflate this later on this evening. I don't really need to do it right now. So, but yeah, soak it all in guys, so there it is. Now I will never understand why the military, this being a survival pilot's sleeping bag, why it's only orange on, on both sides. Honestly, it should be orange on one side and green on the other, so they have to conceal themselves. So, you know, gotta keep in mind this is this was stored in aircrafts or under injection seats of aircraft. So, don't know why they didn't make it reversible, but oh well. This stuff here, this stuff will work great for bird's nest and for a tinder bundle, so. We got a little bundle there. We'll just stuff it in our pocket. And that's gonna help kind of keep it dry or help dry it out. So it's not considerably wet, it's just damp. Okay, our tinder bundle, it's pretty, uh, it's not too bad, it's, it's pretty dry. our parachute cord down and uh you know as a lost pilot that's what we'd have we'd have parachute cord from our parachute because we had the parachute land into enemy territory <laughs> do is i'll take the small twigs here and i think we're just going to put them lay them down for now got that on top of the parachute cord then the center of this you're going to want to put the uh the grass so, I don't really know how much I need. I probably don't need a whole lot. Add some more thicker ones to it. You tie it however you want. You just want to tie it to keep it together with this paracord or parachute cord. And because uh, we're a lost pilot or a crash pilot in enemy, enemy territory. So, We'd be using parachute cord. I think that's good enough. So here it is. And we will light it from the inside. It's definitely cooling down. It's about 3.30 right now. And uh, we're gonna get the fire going. I do this.
don't know how long it's going to stay going for. Because I got a lot of hardwood in here. It's not like I have a spruce or anything. It's doing pretty good so far. Hey, hey, we're pretty good. That's the first time I've done that tender bundle like that, so that worked really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, welcome to Scotty Survival Cooking Class 101. We have some flour. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add water to it and we're gonna make some bread. I didn't really know how much water to add, so never done this before. <laughs> so we kind of knead it together like that, I think. That's how you do it. Uh, one of my brothers had sent me a video on YouTube of a guy making bread like this and then forming it over a cup like this. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And basically, we're making a bowl for our, for our soup to go in. First, we just kind of sprinkle that with flour. Not really sure what that, sure what that does. This is about to get messy. Scoop it out with my hand, I guess. Really no uh, <laughs> easy way to do this one. And my camera shuts off. Well, I have to wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, this did not do what I hope was hoping it was gonna do. Okay, well, maybe if I just form that around there, maybe something like that. See if they're on camera. I don't know. That doesn't look like it's working out too well. Ta-da! There it is. Yeah. yeah. I lack in this survival skill. That's for sure. I think we'll set it there. Then we just set it right. Right there in the fire. Just let that cook with the coals. There's my bread. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. There it is. And <laughs> well, at least we can dip it. Won't be a bowl of soup. Just how it goes, right? I'll tell you what, the bread did cook really good. But, uh, didn't work like I was wanting it to. Here we go, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, guys, it's going to be 12 degrees for a low tonight, so. I don't know if it's going to get down to 12 until about 5 in the morning, probably. <laughs> it's going to be a cold, cold night. But this Arctic sleeping bag, 
I can tell you right now, I think it's going to be really, really warm. It's really, really lofted up right now, just being even stuffed in the stuff sack. So, yeah. Okay. Mm. So now we know what I need to do next time. Add more water and uh, get better at this one skill. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Alpha, Alpha to Omega, come in, over. 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 All right, guys, we are in the bag. Yeah, get my light on. I think we're gonna call it a night tonight, guys. And uh, it's gonna be a cold one. It's going from 13 to 11 degrees tonight, so it's kind of fluctuating back and forth for a low. So we'll see in the morning. But um, yeah, another cold weather survival tip for you. Take your socks off at night and put them in your sleeping bag so they'll dry out for the morning. And with that said, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Let's see if anything crazy happens in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, guys, see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. It is uh, early in the morning. Get my phone here I'll show you if you can see what time it is it is oh you see angels survive all there but it's like 352 in the morning and we got snow you can see out there what snow we got uh, yeah We got snow, a little bit of snow through the night. <sighs> I've just been laying here for the last couple hours. I woke up around two and I just have not been able to get back to sleep. It's pretty much four in the morning, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a call it overnight for us guys. <laughs> but I will say that I was completely warm all night and I'm not cold at all. The air mat, the insulated air mat held up just fine. So all is good. I, I knew this bag would hold up just fine. I just didn't know about the insulated air mat, how well it would do uh, overnight and how well it would keep me warm, but it kept me warm just fine, so. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of this bag and I'll see you here in a few minutes. And uh, sorry, I didn't feel me getting out of the bag, but uh, it's too cold right now. There's what looks like the snow on it. <laughs> and I put like Arctic canteen upside down. Uh, see if it, not freeze, but it's frozen. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get dressed and get packed out of here and I'll see you in a few minutes. We are in the car and it is 438 and it shows 15 degrees outside which that could be pretty close um could be a couple degrees off too so 
Anyways, my camera keeps shutting off on me. But uh, it could be a couple degrees difference with temp. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. Hey, my camera doesn't die again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going home. I'm gonna get some rest and we'll get back to packing and moving some more stuff. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. If not, I'll see you on the community page. And uh, please make sure you leave your comments below. God bless you guys. And uh, I will see you real soon. Take care.